Okay, so uh, usually we are going to historic destinations like museums and uh, historic landmarks and things like that. Today we're doing something a, a little bit different. We are going to a historic route called the Old Fall River Road. Now this uh, is in Rocky Mountain National Park and originally this was a route that was followed by the Arapaho uh, as they crossed over the mountain paths. Uh, in 1920, uh, let's see, I guess that would be about five years after uh, Rocky Mountain National Park was founded, uh, they built the very first auto route uh, into the mountains. Uh, I think it was first constructed by some uh, convicts from the Colorado State Penitentiary. So uh, anyway, um, first it was traveled on foot, then on horse, then with Model T's. Now we're going to do it in a minivan. So um, whenever this road was originally constructed, it was a two-way road, which I cannot even imagine right now, uh, because it's rather horrifying as it is as a one-lane road, uh, much less if I had to maneuver around to uh, make room for somebody coming down. Um, the Arapaho called this the dog trail, which is, is kind of cool. Uh, I guess they would use dogs to pull sleds through the snow. Um, but anyway, we are still ascending. Okay, so these things are called gabions, maybe? Uh, and they were installed because there was a problem with erosion and they almost lost this road, but uh, public support ended up keeping the road open. That, <laughs> okay, that's a long way down. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh my, <laughs> this is, something. Oh <laughs> uh, wow. Oh, if you could only see what I see on this side. Oh hey. ah, boy, I can see what you can see on this side. Okay, so we are moving from the subalpine to the alpine levels. Uh, pretty scenic. Some psychological things going on with this road though. For one, there are no guardrails at all. And uh, they couldn't have called this the old road or the old river road. They have to, oh my gosh, they have to call it the old fall river road. Emphasis on the word fall, but uh, it is pretty. warmer temperatures down low. Got some elk up top here in the alpine region. Looks like some pretty good bulls in there too. So, that was the old Fall River Road. Pretty nice drive, probably my favorite so far. Gets a little bit sketchy in a few places, uh, especially with no guardrails and everything, but overall, um, really cool drive. I'm, I'm a big fan of the era of the 1920s, so to kind of come up that road and think about, um, you know, being in an old Model T and being in the park during that era was, was pretty cool. Uh, right now we're gonna go into the visitor center and uh, see if they have any additional information on the, the history of, of this area. 
Okay, so now I'm inside the visitor center on top of the trail. And uh, there's a little display here talking about the Native Americans who used this route that we just came up and the one that we're getting ready to go down. So these are some moccasins that were either Ute or Shoshone. The, the two tribes were pretty close together so it's, it's kind of difficult to tell which is which along with this bead bag. Here's something that's kind of interesting though. This uh, metal striker looks like, like some primitive brass knuckles but uh, it's actually something that would be worn over the knuckles and then strike against quartz or granite to create sparks. So the French would have brought these over and uh, used them for trade. Pretty cool. Okay, now this is really interesting. The Native Americans that were traveling on foot early on would um, follow elk and other migrating herds up here into the high regions. And uh, they would construct these little funnels out of stone and then have game drives and then at the end of the funnel would position people with weapons to kill the animals. Very interesting. And then here's some examples of that right there. So that's one way that we know that Native Americans used this area as a trail. Okay, so here's a few other interesting Native American tools. So this is a flesher that would be used to scrape fat and flesh from the inside of animal skin and then an axe. It says here that they would use a mix of sand and water to sharpen the granite blades and to uh, form their handle grooves. That would take some work. All right, so that was kind of interesting. Uh, learned that at 11,796 feet, the visitor center here is the highest in elevation of any other visitor center in the national park system. Uh, I am now going up something called the, I think it's the Alpine Ridge Trail, but the nickname is Huffer's Hill. This is going to take me up to the top of this point and uh, kind of get a look at a little bit of this scenery from up here at what seems like the top of the world. Okay, so we're getting a little closer to the top. Air seems to be a little bit thin up here. Whew. It'll be worth it though. Here's the view at the top. My goodness. You certainly get a sense of the, the bigness and the creativity of God from up here. Amazing. aren't words to to describe what this is like uh, just simply amazing so uh, I think we are going to hop back in the van and head back down a different historic route on Trail Ridge Road
Okay, so we are on the eastern portion of the Trail Ridge Road. Uh, this road is actually listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. It was started in 1929 to accommodate, I guess, more vehicle traffic that, that was going through Rocky Mountain National Park uh, and was also one of the, the old trails uh, that was used by different Native American groups. Uh, I, I'll tell you, what impresses me most driving this is thinking about the men who built this road. Uh, just the idea of getting heavy equipment up here and carving this out is really quite amazing. Um, because, I mean, just driving it alone, I won't lie, is a, a little bit of a white knuckle experience in places. Uh, but man, it, it definitely is scenic. Okay, so this is an area on the eastern side of the Trail Ridge Road called the Lava Cliffs. And this was the site of a volcanic explosion at one time. Pretty cool. Very neat formation. Okay, a little windy. But I am so completely pumped right now because we're up here on Trail Ridge Road. And I really, really wanted to see some bighorn sheep. And they just happen to be up here. And I'm the one that spotted them. And Olivia is the one who spotted them. All right, so that was the historic Trail Ridge Road. Uh, first traveled by prehistoric Native Americans on foot, and then later by Arapaho, Shoshone, Ute uh, on horseback, and then traveled by Model T. So it's pretty cool to uh, kind of gone along that, that historic route right here in Rocky Mountain National Park. Very cool place. I, I don't like that I can't see what's over the edge. Oh, maybe because that's there's nothing over the edge except your oh, final moments. Riding. 